Okay, so this is a sample video from acmetutor.com and in this video we are going to do an uh, example of the Lagrange multiplier. So let's start with uh, the problem. So the problem that we have at hand is f of x, y uh, is 5x minus 3y. And we want to minimize this such that x squared plus y squared is 136. Now notice that the x squared plus y squared equal 136 is really a disk of radius of square root 136, which means on this closed disk we have a function xy, and so it must have an extreme value. Both the maximum and the minimum must be either within the disk or on its boundary. This is called the extreme value theorem. Now, in order to solve this uh, problem, we are going to use Lagrange multipliers. The way we're going to do this is we're first going to take the function x, f of x, y, and we're going to define f bar of x, y, which is going to be the subtraction of the condition from f of x, y. And we're going to subtract it by multiplying it by lambda. Note that the condition must uh, go to zero, so we are essentially subtracting zeros. So let's see. So here we have f bar, and f bar is f 5x minus 3y minus lambda x squared minus lambda y squared plus 136 lambda. Next, we want to take the gradient with respect to x, y, and lambda and set them all equal to zero. This is what we do in calculus when we want to minimize or maximize functions. We take their gradients and set them to zero. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we have f of bar of x, which is the gradient with respect to x. So we get a 5 minus 2 lambda x equals 0. Here we have the gradient with respect to y. We get minus 3 minus 2 lambda y might equal to 0. And here we have the gradient with respect to lambda. We get minus x squared minus y squared plus 136 is equal to 0. So now let us go ahead and solve f bar of x and f bar of y for x and y with respect to lambda and plug it into f bar lambda here. So we have x equal 5 over 2 lambda and y equal negative 3 over 2 lambda. When we plug these in, we get the following. We see that when we solve for lambda, we get plus or minus one fourth. We go ahead and plug this lambda back into the function to and get x and y. So once we have that, we see that x is 10, y is negative 6, or if lambda is negative 1 fourth, then x is 10 and y is 6. And finally, we plug them into the function, and we see that at 10, negative 6, we get 68, and at negative 10, 6, we get negative 68 for the function. And those are our min and max values of the function. So that's the basic technique and an example of doing Lagrange multipliers.